Hey people, it is Saturday, March the 27th, and it is 8.15 in the evening. And I'm right here at the corner of Young Street and Bloor Street. And I'll do a walk south along Young Street here on Saturday night. We'll see how things are looking here on the main street of Toronto on a Saturday night in the gray zone, in the modified gray zone. Things are looking a little more lively lately. It's a fairly pleasant evening. It's around, I think, six degrees Celsius. And you can see Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is doing a good business here. They always have lineups. There, passing the brass rail. It's one of the few remaining strip clubs here on Young Street. It's been a while since I've done a nighttime walk down Young Street and I think the last time I did was when things were definitely a lot more closed down and a lot more quiet. It'll be interesting to see what it's like at Young and Dundas. Normally on a Saturday night, Young and Dundas is teeming with people and activity. I don't expect it'll be, you know, what it would normally be, but we'll see if it's at least a little more than what it has been lately. In terms of like, in terms of raw pedestrian. <laughs> numbers. I was trying to, trying to think of the right word here. My brain isn't working properly right now. I just finished a over two hour live stream and thought since I was right here on Young Street I might as well just get a video out of it here.
Yeah, quite a crowd of people in there. <laughs> that guy's like annoyed that people are in his way while he's cycling on the sidewalk. <laughs> it's like, dude, no. You're the one who's being annoying by doing something illegal, basically. Here we are at Wellesley Street. to be a definite uptick in just people out and about, people deciding that they're just going to live their lives and go out and enjoy the city. Even with some restrictions remaining, there's still no indoor dining. There's, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> still no indoor dining, still can't go to bars. Even patios closed down early, like outdoor dining is permitted, but with limited hours, limited capacity, but people are making the best of it, I think. Looks like I'm gonna go past this rolling nightclub again up here. <laughs> I guess it's fun. I think he had a little kid in, on in front of him here, giving him a ride. I can see how that's fun. But still, he really shouldn't be on the sidewalk. I mean, he has a child with him, but he himself is not a child, so you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, let's keep on going. I'm not gonna wait for the light. Oh, didn't have to anyway.
see the Aura condominium. It's a very distinctive crown. You can see that from all over the city. Although the LED lighting, a lot of it has stopped working. Those strips are supposed to be uniform. And now they're all different lengths. Sections of them have stopped working. reached Carlton Street and College Street on that side. looking up into College Park. And here's where it was recently announced a new urban format IKEA store will be locating where Bed Bath & Beyond used to be. That recently closed down. And a couple of uh, former bars and restaurants on the first level also will become part of the new IKEA. I think it'll be 66,000 square feet, which is about a third the size or even a quarter the size of a typical big suburban style IKEA store, but urban format IKEAs, you know, obviously cater to a different crowd. And I think it'll be very well, well received when it opens. It might open by the end of this year or early next year. I think there are just a handful of cities that have an IKEA store right in the downtown. Yes! Yes! 
Walking through what was once the uh, the sin strip of Young Street between Gerard and Dundas, there's not much left of that anymore. Here is another one of the remaining strip clubs. I think I'll have to talk over this music here that is blaring from this place. I'll just go across the street, maybe. It's looking back north up Young Street. And I'll just keep on talking. That lot was the site of an old historic building, but it burned down under suspicious circumstances about 10 years ago. And it's been a vacant lot ever since. It has been filled up with these pretty cool food stalls offering all different kinds of good takeout food. There is a proposal now on that site for a new 30-story residential building. And that's where HMV Records used to be, now Tokyo Smoke. Coming to Young and Dundas. Well, we have people around, but still not really what it would normally be on a Friday night. This corner is usually filled with people in activity, all kinds of buskers and crowds of people watching. Looks like some of the screens are temporarily out of commission here. That one too.
see it looks like they need to uh, reinitialize. <laughs> Maybe they're loading some new, some new advertising. <laughs> so here's Young and Dundas, and oh wow, looky looky! Here we have the singing man. Singing man doing his thing. We we're just talking about him in my live stream, not like a half an hour ago. Yeah, that one's down too. All the big screens are down right now. Doesn't seem quite the same with all the screens dark. I think I will actually go to Burrito Boys and get myself a burrito, put that burrito fun to use. My neighborhood Burrito Boys is just right up ahead. Looking back up at a very odd looking Young and Nundas without any of its electronic screens. Getting my mask ready here. Here we are, Burrito Boys. Can I get a uh, small bean and cheese on whole wheat? What topping? 
Uh, everything on it. With guacamole? Uh, no guac. Any hot sauce? A little bit more hot? Just a little bit, just mild. Yeah. Sure, that's everything? Yeah, that's it. Oh, and, and no how Well, she's gonna. She'll ask me what I want, right? Uh, you already told me that you want everything on it, no guacamole. Okay, I was gonna say no jalapenos sure, as well. That's everything? Yeah, no jalapenos, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Any drinks for you today? Nope. How like big? Uh, Devin. Alright, thank you. Just getting my card out here. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would you like to have your receipt? Uh, sure. Your number one or two? Thank you. Five to six minutes, your phone will be ready, yeah? Okay, thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have that one time. No, it's the same one we had that one time. Okay. Yeah. So sorry if everything was a bit shaky while I was in there. I should have got my card ready beforehand. <laughs> so I guess I will wrap up this video here while I wait for my burrito. If you enjoyed this little walk down Young Street. From Bloor to Dundas and then over here to Burrito Boys. Then by all means subscribe, like and share and comment and tell your friends and your family and even your worst enemy. And be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description where you can do so via PayPal. And you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum if you are on there. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep checking back because as always, I will continue. Hey, I just got home from Burrito Boys, and I thought I'd show you what I got here. There we go, and you can see how big it is. They don't mess around at Burrito Boys. This is a small. I've never gotten a large, simply because the small is more than big enough. So, time to chow down.